Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to another video. This video is part two in a little series I'm doing on building the um, Jerry's beam engine, which is a, a small steam engine. Um, I haven't had time to do any video of the machine and oh, I've just been so busy just of late, uh, what with work commitments and various other things and that. But what I'll do is um, I'll show you some of the parts. I'll bring you in closer and we'll have a look at some of these parts which I have machined. Um, I'm gradually getting through you know, the work, what needs to be done. And um, hopefully I won't be too longer before I can get the machine sort of assembled and see how it goes together. These parts are mostly um, just sort of pre-finished. They just need a final polish and such and whatever. But anyway, I'll bring you in closer and we'll have a look at some of these parts. The first part we'll have a look at is the actual beam which runs across the top of the engine. Um, this links the piston with the flywheel or you know with the crank and that. Um, this took a sort of reasonable amount of time to produce um, with the pockets machine and the pockets in. Um, they're a bit rough in the pockets but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill those with paint, probably just black paint, um, so that will hide those up. Um, to try and get a fin nice finish in those pockets was, you know, it's going to be quite hard. So, but the the, outs, the exterior of the part has um, all been finished pretty well. I've just got a final polish to do on that just to get rid of some of these marks in here. So anyway, so that's the beam. Um, this is the linkage which links the beam to the crankshaft. Um, so obviously this will do this business. And I've just got to make the bronze bushing, or in my case it's just going to be brass. There's a brass bushing which will um, obviously link to the crank which will be these are the crank so this this is where that will be obviously the main shaft is through the middle here and then the actual crank is here so that will spin round and obviously you know make the piston go up and down what's linked through to the beam again these are um, pretty much done they just got to have a final polish and clean up and then we've got the actual beam mount here so this is um, this is going to be belted down to the top of the main frame so that will sit on the top here, eventually obviously screwed down from the top. Actually, it's not that one, it's these ones here. So yeah, so they'll be screwed down and the beam will sit through here. Um, these, are, these are split bearings. Let me just put those back. This is an actual split bearing. Um, if I can get a focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, you can just about see the split in there. So that took a bit of messing around just to get that nice. Anyway, so they are okay. okay. Um, this is the crankshaft bearing. That's what I meant to say on this one. So that will sit down here on the frame. And again, we'll just see if that will, oh, it will focus. So I'll sort of give that a reasonable polish. I've just got to have a bit more of a polish on there. But um, again, that's a split bearing. Um, that's been reamed out. And I'm just going to use um, silver steel for the crankshaft um, to run through there. <clears throat> and then we've got, these are the, um, these are quite small, took a bit of messing around. Um, so these will link the linkages, uh, so they sort of join onto here. So when that will keep the piston square as it's going up and down to the beam. Um, so again, those are just made out of brass, normal brass. Uh, what else we got here? We've then got the, this is the cylinder. Um, I've just got to do a final hone on the cylinder. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a slide valve on here. Um, this has still got to be machined, this, the actual valve, so that will sit on the top here like this. Oh, focus, focus. And then this will be the slide cover. So, and then obviously the, the, the valve is in here. So what it is, it's a push and pull valve um, or I say push and pull. In the centre here is the exhaust, which obviously comes out here to relieve the pressure inside the um, inside the valve. And then we've got the pressure here to push the valve down and push it up. So these two are the outside here. So that will be instead of having like a traditional steam engine, like a mini sort of oscillating engine where the, the steam is only pressing the piston down, this will actually press it down. And then as it comes down, it will also press it back up. And these are the ports coming through the top. So here's the top feed for the air. For the, I'm just going to run this on air. I'm not going to run it on steam. So the air pressure will come from the top here and blow the piston down. And then it will come from the bottom and blow the piston back up. 
Um, again, this has just got to have a final polish and such. Um, this is the bottom half of the cylinder, so the cylinder will just sit on here like so. And then I've just got to make the cylinder head um, focus. And, and then these are the linkages what I've made so far. Um, again, focus. Yeah, so they were the linkages there. Um, they just got to have a final. They're, they're just made out of steel, just normal steel. They just got to have a polish up. And then we've got the eccentric, which does the timing for the slide valve. Um, oh, let's see, right. Come on, focus. There you go. So yeah, so probably they might just need a bit of final messing around with that to get that to work in the um, eccentric um, strap. So, which I there's stuff something else we I haven't made yet. So anyway, so that's um, that's basically it so far. Um, the dogs now decided to bark in the background. Um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, I'm hoping to get on and get some more parts made shortly and uh, get that finished, which will be good. And then I can move on to, like I say, on to my next um, projects, which I've got lined up. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.